Hey everybody, it's Jared from Go Hunt. I just kind of wanted to touch on some boot care. We're kind of getting later in the season now and uh, uh, just kind of wanted to talk about a little bit of uh, boot care and boot maintenance as we go through, you know, get into the later seasons. We have a couple different options in the shop. We have Granger's, Crispy, and Kenetrek. All kind of about the same. And we'll kind of touch on each one of them and how to apply them. And, and these are some of my personal boots and then uh, Brian, the store uh, manager's boots. For me, I usually, you know, there's no real schedule for me for, for when I waterproof and apply this stuff. Whenever I see around the seams starting to soak up water uh, into the leather, that's when I know I need to, to reapply. Um, a good example is just this last week in Wyoming. Um, I wore these uh, crispy brick stalls there and they were awesome. Uh, we had some guys there that had some other crispy boots that were needed to be reapplied and they were soaking up water kind of in these seams. And, and once you start seeing that, uh, it's kind of my cue to uh, reapply my waterproofing. You know, if you've been wearing your boots a bunch, you know, early season, get into later season, and you start seeing that, I just go ahead and clean them up and reapply. All three of these are uh, designed specifically for leather. So it'll really soak into the leather and uh, last a long time. There's other sprays out there if you have synthetic boots that you can apply. Uh, but these three in particular are meant for, for these leather type boots. Um, and they, like I said before, they really soak in. Um, I'll show you on this, on this boot here, you can see down here where it's applied and up here where it's not applied uh, and it's a different color. Um, and a lot for these boots too, uh, make sure to clean them. Like uh, these were just used and you can kind of see they're, they're a little bit dirty. I'd probably clean them up a little bit better than that to, uh, to apply them, but I'll go ahead and apply it later. Like up here, it's pretty clean and I can apply it there and it should be good, but I would, you know, <clears throat> clean them up. There's some blood left on that boot. Um, so I'd clean that up really well. Um, I did the same thing to these. It's kind of the same leather. You can see uh, the difference in them. The spray, uh, a lot of time you have to keep your boots dry or wet, sorry. So you have to wet your boots and then apply the spray and then it dries all together. But for this, these waxes, uh, you got to clean and dry your boots first before you apply it. This is the one I used on both of these boots. And uh, you can kind of see, uh, where there's some wax left over in the creases, that's totally okay. You can see how it'll clean up, but then you can really see the difference between this boot, <clears throat> this leather color and this up here. And it even says on here, it'll change the color. So it's really easy. You can just do it by hand with this. This is the Kenetrek. <clears throat> then just get it out and you can just, just rub it in there. I'm not too worried about getting it in the holes or anywhere else like it's it's just some some boot wax some so it, i'm not too worried about getting it on okay, i've gotten it over here so it's that easy to to apply it and then you can just wait wait i think it says up to an hour and then it'll dry and it'll look like this you can see where the excess is in the creases you can just kind of clean it up if you want to you don't have to but you can clean it up like that and, and it'll be good to go um these are the boots I wore in Wyoming for a few days and um, they were awesome. They had no problems with uh, snow or water <clears throat> leaking and getting my feet wet. And uh, yeah, they did great. They recommend waiting an hour before, uh, before you know, going out and getting them wet. Th especially for this, it has to dry. So it's, it's still kind of wet and tacky right there. So you just gotta let that wax dry a little bit and then you'll be, you'll be all good to go. So these are my Kenetrek boots. So we're in the, we're using the Kenetrek wax. Uh, these are my crispy boots and I use the Kenetrek wax. They're all designed for the leather boots. So we'll use the, the crispy uh, waterproofing cream on these Hanwag boots. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit different. It has a little uh, applicator pad in here. So this is the crispy waterproofing cream, same way, clean, clean, dry boots. You just apply it in there. <clears throat> Just want to get it on all the, try and get it on all the nooks and crannies, especially up against that rand and then in the seams of the boots is where you're going to get leaks. So try and get in there really good. Get those seams really uh, saturated with that cream and then you'll be all good. But really that's how, that's how easy it is. You know, do it every, every time you see your, your seams starting to soak up some water or you have any issues with that, I would just stop, you know, between maybe between hunting trips, you just clean your boots, reapply that waterproofing cream and you have no, no worries. Um, so just to recap, uh, there's no real schedule to, uh, to do this to your boots. 
Just any time you're having any issues or seeing your leather soaking up any water, I would I would clean them, let them dry thoroughly, and then and then reapply any of, any of these waxes, and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions about boots, waterproofing, or any other issues, uh, you can just reach out to us, you know, through uh, customer service or uh, the email address. So.